Now, if you've been paying attention to the news in recent times, then you'll by now be very familiar with graphs. Covid rates, infection rates, data are being displayed now in a plethora of different ways. But there are, as the old saying Mark Twain made popular goes, lies, damn lies and statistics. So are there any gotchas that we need to look out for when someone shows us a graph? Adam Murphy caught up with Naira Chamberlain, who's the president of the Institute of Mathematics. One time it really came into the fore was Florence Nightingale during the Crimea War, where she used graphs to show that the British Army, the deaths were mostly occurring from treatable diseases as opposed to dying on the on the battlefield. Something that people are getting to grips with with the amount of graphs that are being bombarded with us on a daily basis is how easy they can be manipulated, I suppose. Could you tell us a little bit about how you might manipulate graphs to emphasise or not emphasise certain things and how people can twist our perceptions? One of the most common ways to actually to manipulate a graph is that, let's say you have a bar chart and you want to see how much profit you're making beyond your competitor, or you want to show that you know your product performs much better than your competitor. So let's say my product makes you a £100 saving while the competitor only makes a £95 saving. So one of the ways of actually manipulating this to make it look even much better is actually to compress the vertical axis so that it actually only starts from let's say 90 and ends at 100 so when you actually look at that it looks like your profit is twice as much than your than your competitor not realizing that actually the chart should go all the way down to zero so that's a common practice that that people do so when you visually look at it without even looking at the numbers of sides it looks like your your performance is twice as good as as a competitor so that's a that's a very common way of actually manipulating the graphs what tips would you have for people on how to like read graphs effectively what what would say someone sits down and they see a graph in a newspaper what's the best way of going about reading and understanding and not being fooled the the key thing is one look at the y axis you know look at the y axis does it goes up to sequentially or does it go up geometrically so is it a log scale second Every graph should have a source, you know, they're saying this is taken from a source and also actually look at the date which the graph was done. I mean, sometimes people will quote you statistics, but the statistics is actually out of date. So that's the best thing to do is look at the look at the y-axis and look at the source and look at the date from when, when this statistic was actually produced. Data, you know, the way that we actually represent data in graphs is mostly true. Recognize that there's, there are always underlying assumptions and underlying biases that are involved in, in data collection and how we actually represent the uh, the data. And also you have to recognize who is actually presenting it. But statistics is a wonderful and a great subject. But again, you know, it's a case of look at the numbers, understand the numbers, and then you will understand the graph. Laura Chamberlain speaking to Adam Murphy.